welcome to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. I'm Connie and I'm one of your Dixie Bell brand ambassadors. In the video today, I am going to be giving the piece behind a really vivid electric blue makeover. Hope you enjoy the video. So first up is the prep work as always. This piece was waxed, so that had to be removed before I could even clean the piece. First, I scraped off the majority of the wax, then rubbed it with wire wool and white spirits to remove every single last bit of, of the wax. Then I cleaned it with Dixie Bell's White Lightning, gave it a really, really good scrub and rinse that off. If you wanna see how I remove the wax in more detail, I have got a video on this on my YouTube channel, which you can find at Faf Designs. Once the piece was completely dry, I sanded it with my Festool electric sander. The wood that I'm painting is an Indian hardwood which is prone to bleed through so pr prior to painting I applied two coats of Boss and let that dry for 24 hours before I started to paint. This is actually a custom piece so my customer chose a block finish to tie in with some other pieces that I had already done for her. The colour that I'm using is Cobalt Blue in the Chalk Mineral Paint range, which is a really vibrant electric blue colour. I'm using a Dixie Bell Synthetic Mini Brush to apply the paint to get a really smooth finish. And I'm also occasionally spritzing with water just to get the paint to go that little bit further. Dixie Bell paint is super pigmented, so a little goes a long way, and the water just helps to get a really smooth finish and to just get the most out of that paint. A good tip when you are painting a large flat surface like this one, is to use nice long brush strokes and go with the direction of the grain and then when you've finished run your paintbrush really lightly over the surface which is sometimes called laying off and this can just even out any brush strokes or texture that you might have. I used three coats in total of cobalt blue for a really vibrant full coverage finish and then I sealed my paint with Bestang Wax in clear. It looks a little white in the tub but it goes on clear and when I'm using wax over a large flat surface such as this one and the top of the desk I usually use a blue applicator sponge. Again it's a Dixie Bell product and I find that it gives really smooth, even coverage to your wax application without causing any streaking. And once the wax had been applied for about 20 minutes, grab a dry microfiber cloth or a lint-free rag and buff the excess off. That gives you that really gorgeous deep sheen. And just because this desk is quite large and flat, there's not really any detail on it. What I discussed with my customer is that we were gonna add a little bit of shading around the drawer edges. Again, it's to match other pieces that I've done for her in her home. So I'm using Best Ang Wax in black with a premium chip brush. The brush is dry. I've applied very, very small amount of the wax because it's very pigmented around the edges of my drawers. Don't panic it's not going to finish up looking like this. So all I'm doing is just using quite a light hand to feather the wax into um, the centre, towards the centre of the drawer. Mm -hmm. 
when I'd done all the drawers, I grabbed the original blue sponge that I applied the clear wax with and just used that to buff the line where the dark wax ends just to give it a sort of a, a smoother transition into the centre of the drawer just to fade that line out gradually and create a sort of shading around the edge of the drawers. Don't forget as well that all of the Best Dang Wax, even the coloured ones, is water-based. So if you do apply it too thickly or you really decide you don't like what you've done, you can remove the wax with either a damp rag or a sponge and it will take the wax straight off. Okay, so the wax was all buffed off after about 20 minutes of it drying. I painted some plain handles in Bunker Hill Blue, sealed those with wax and added those on as well. It looks a very, very similar colour, but it's slightly darker just to give a little bit of difference and variation to the colour of the handles versus the main body of the piece. So hopefully you can see that subtle shading around the drawer edges. I've just taken a bit of an angled shot here because it picks it up nicely. And there is the finished piece. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it and make sure you're subscribing to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel.